This conference will now be recorded. Okay, I would like to call the joint review board for tip three and five to order. Please. President Fredaski? Here. Keith Lucius? Here. 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 Gary Sparrett? Here. Chad Weiniger? Not here yet. Okay, please stand for the pledge. The United States of America, like for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, I need a motion on the minutes for the I'll make a motion. Do I have a second? I'll second. Motion? Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve those minutes. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed. Motion carried. Number four, action on resolution R10-1-21 regarding the proposed territory amendment number two for tip number five. Aaron. Okay. Uh, since we last met, uh, we've gone through the process, statutory process to uh, review the proposed TID amendment to, or territory amendment to TID number five. I'll just bring that up here just for reference. Uh, you can see here is existing TID number five in the light green, which stands up here. Hi, Chad. Uh, and then the proposed uh, amendment is the yellow area uh, that you see here. Um, I have included a boundary uh, around the TID amendment area. I have just discussed at our last meeting. Uh, I also did include the property uh, in this area right here, the former microtel property uh, right here, uh, as was also discussed last time. Uh, I went through uh, plan commission uh, and village board, uh, both recommended uh, approval. Uh, to village uh, to the joint review board uh, really no other changes to the uh, document uh, other than uh, those couple additions the boundary and the uh, additional parcel uh, I do uh, Brian uh, here with uh, Barrett I guess Brian have anything to add to that at all um no, the addition uh, since in the plan itself is obviously we did some additional uh, evaluation uh, tests in with the microtel added, and it still makes it well uh, under the limitation. Uh, we included the um, uh, legal opinion from uh, Tony uh, is in the plan now. Um, so I think the plan, the only thing missing in the plan, and I think Aaron was going to touch on it, we don't have the leads and bounds yet legal description. Right. That's to be cut, that will be showing up shortly. Yep, I'm working with uh, Coleman Engineering. They're uh, in the process of developing that right now. Otherwise, the plan has all the statutory requirements in it right now, with that exception. I have one question. Because I'm just north of 172 that I think is the Bertram Subaru dealership. Why is that included in here and it's already developed? Right. So that was included to really help beef up the TIF a little bit. Uh, the TIF as it currently is right now, uh, it does, at the end of its statutory life, it, it's in the black mm -hmm. at the end of the life. So we want to make sure that this TIF is healthy and get to that point, if we can get to that point sooner, by including that one little parcel just to help kind of beef up the tip over time, uh, certainly would benefit the overall health of the tip. So did the financing pay for those improvements so that Bergstrom came into that area, or is this brought in at its value after those improvements and Bergstrom moving in? How, how is that, when's that set, that district set? That's sure, so the valuation will actually be as of the 20, 21. Mm -hmm. So the valuation that's in the TIF right now, the base value is its previous, uh, so the old Mack truck right. type. Mm -hmm. So that increase in increment would go towards the TIF. Okay. 
that's what you were looking for. Yeah, that's what I was trying to just understand. I, you yep. know, I, it, it would seem unusual that we would include something that's already been redeveloped. Mm -hmm. Are there plans for the, the old Howard John site? I think is what that one is right. And yeah, that's and this this property right here. Yep. Um, there's there's no plans right now. People have kicked the tires on it quite okay. a bit, um, but there's uh, some pretty significant environmental uh, wetland features here in this area, and it's uh, access is kind of an issue. With it. it seems like it's got great visibility. I think that with the right development, that could be pretty bad. I would agree. That's all my questions. So just a, from a I have a question relative to the Menards property is in there as well. Um, there are no assumptions built into the financials that that parcel is developed. Is that correct? Or are there assumptions built in? No, that property, is, this is simply a territory amendment. Uh, we have no uh, additional project costs that we're planning for that property at this point. Okay. So I guess my question is this, is if we, by adding all of these parcels and thinking about redeveloping them, which is the intent of the TID, does that make it necessary to add the Bergstrom property in there? I mean, I just it feels a little left of right that it's already developed and we're just putting it in because we need it for the TID. It just, it doesn't, it doesn't sit well. Um, I'm, I'm sure we haven't violated any laws because you wouldn't have proposed it otherwise, but it just doesn't, it just kind of goes against what the purpose of the TIDs are. And so as you look at the parcels that you've included, if those get developed, I'm assuming that that will help you get to um, make it a viable um, TID. Is that an accurate statement? Or so it's a little bit of a belts and suspenders of adding Bergstrom in as well as all these other properties. Hopefully, that's the case. I guess I, I can't guarantee that something's going to happen on the Menard site or these other properties. Um, nothing has been submitted to the village on these other properties yet. Um, so it's really, yeah, I guess belt and suspenders suspender is probably a good approach or a good way to describe it. Um, but again, it's we're hopeful that this helps um, overall with the health of the TID. But again, we don't have any guarantees on the other properties. Fires improvements. Okay, thank you. Uh, what happened to me, and I asked this question last time, why didn't we have Bergstrom in there? I had some time to reflect on it. So generally, the, the difference is, is we're, I mean, this looks like it's all gerrymandered. So we, we, can, we can scope out what's in and what's out, but normally during a TIP, uh, you're going to do a block area. Yeah. And in that block area, you have a lot of development that's already, you know, you know that's already developed so it just because of it the way the map looks it just it just highlights it and maybe that was like an unfair highlight when i first asked that question um and generally for the the tiv you have within that tip you you have a bunch of already developed and established properties mm -hmm. so it's already part of the mix it just this is just highlighted because this is the first time i've ever seen such a interesting map so and that's why originally i asked about the bergstrom and kind of was saying you know bloody murder a little bit yeah. but uh it's you know i i understand it in order for it to work and tell you the truth that menards has been an eyesore for a long time it'd be nice to do something there mm -hmm. and get that developed and get that on the tax basis as soon as possible so that's my little yeah. editorial and it's the same way i feel about that old howard johnson it's been an eyesore well, for a long time it's such an awesome piece well, so, someone did try to get the state DOT to allow for greater access, and unfortunately, they failed. You know, so many years ago. <laughs> Wonder who that? Was? I don't know. <laughs> 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 Any other questions? Yeah. Any other questions or comments from anybody? So, are you? I apologize. I, I are you on four A? Four A. You on four A? So, does your motion need to be approved? Uh, as amended to meet the state statutes because you don't have that, that information attached in the packet or what motion oh, as far as the, uh, the legal description yeah right it would be approval with the addition of the legal description okay. okay is that your motion well i was just asking if that would be the appropriate motion okay is that your motion <laughs> <laughs> sure i'll say Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve resolution R10-1-21 
with the legal description added. Okay, does everybody understand that? Okay, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried unanimous. Okay. Now I need a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Motion and a second to adjourn. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed. Aye. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Appreciate it. Have a good day.